Module 15 OSHA Construction Most Frequently Cited Violations Most Frequently Cited Serious Violations in Construction Fiscal Year 2013 Fall Protection Residential Construction 4740 Violations Portable Ladders Not Extended 3 Feet Above Landing 1867 Fall Protection Unprotected Sides and Edges 1696 Violations Fall Protection Training 1632 Violations Head Protection 1249 Eye and Face Protection 1246 Scaffolds 966 Fall Protection Roofing Work on Low Sloped Roofs 913 Aerial Lifts Fall Protection 908 Safe Access 781 Violations General Safety and Health Inspections by a Competent Person 624 Violations Employee Training Programs 466 Initiate and Maintain Accident Prevention Programs 381 Housekeeping 166 Personal Protective Equipment Employer Responsibility 108 Violations Occupational Health and Environmental Controls Lead Exposure Assessment 70 Violations Emergency Eye Wash Slash Shower 40 Violations Inhalation Overexposure to Gases, Vapors, Fumes, Dust or Mist 35 First Aid Supplies 33 Lead Blood Sampling 32 Violations Personal protective and life-saving equipment. Head protection, 1,249 violations. Eye and face protection, 1,245 violations. PPE provided, used, and maintained, 268. Required eye and face protection, ANSI requirements, 31. Payment for protective equipment, 9. Violations. Fire protection and prevention. Extinguishers within 50 feet of 5 gallons of flammable slash combustible liquids, 50 violations. Fire extinguisher provided per 3,000 square feet of building area. 46 violations. Portable fire extinguishers expected periodically and maintained. 36 violations. Inspection and maintenance of firefighting equipment. 26 violations. Flammable slash combustible liquids dispensing unit protected. 24 violations. Signs, signals, and barricades. Traffic signs at points of hazard, 55 violations. Traffic control signs devices, 49. Flaggers signaling, 27 violations. Danger signs for immediate hazard, 3. Accident prevention tags, 3 violations reported. Material handling, storage, use, and disposal. Exterior drop chutes, 35 violations. Rigging equipment inspection and removal from service, 29 violations. Welded alloy steel chain sling identification, 18 violations. General rigging equipment identification, 16 violations. Synthetic web slings, removal from service, 14 violations. Tools 
hand and power. Tools designed for guards, guards in place. 113 violations. Guarding of rotating slash moving parts. 61 violations. Guarding of portable circular saw. 54 violations. Woodworking tools. ANSI requirements. 47 violations. Guarding of cross-cut table saws. 39 violations. Reported. Welding and cutting. Cylinder secured upright. 33 violations. Oxygen cylinder storage. 30 violations. Using cables needing repair. 18 violations. Cable splicing. Greater than 10 feet from electrode holder. 9 violations. Shielding from welding and cutting operations. 9 violations reported. Electrical violations and citations. Grounding path. 401 citations. Flexible cord strain relief. 213 citations. Equipment installation and use. 211. Ground fault protection, 194. Worn frayed cords or cables, 176 citations reported. Scaffold citations, fall protection, 966. Aerial lifts, fall protection, 908. Safe access, 781 violations. Full planking, 702. Training for scaffold users, 450 citations and violations. Fall protection, residential construction, 4,740 violations. Unprotected sides and edges, 1,696 violations. Fall hazard training, 1,632 violations. Roofing work on low sloped roofs, 913 violations. Roofing work on steep roofs, 655 violations reported. Helicopters, hoist, elevators, and conveyors. Instructions posted on cars and platforms. 19 violations. Hoist car enclosure, three violations. Motor vehicle mechanized equipment and marine operations. Industrial truck operator training, 64 violations. Industrial truck ANSI B52.1 requirements, 54 violations. Modifications that affect capacity rating, 35 violations. Safety platform secured to carriage or forks, 32 violations. Blocking cribbing of suspended equipment, 19 violations reported. Excavations, cave-in protection, 666 violations. Safe egress. 357 violations. Protection from falling slash rolling materials and equipment. 227 violations. Competent person. Inspections. 226. Competent person. Inspection and employee removal. 68 violations reported. Concrete and masonry construction. Reinforcing steel guardings, 226 violations. Lockout, tag out of bulk cement storage facilities, four violations. Masonry wall bracing, four violations. PPE for mixing concrete, three violations. Semicircular masonry saw guarding, three violations reported. Steel erection, fall protection 
over 15 feet, 163 violations. Fall hazard training, 36 violations. Fall protection for connectors, 19 violations. Fall protection over two stories of 30 feet, 10 violations. Clearly marked control decking zone, eight violations reported. Underground construction, caissons, coffer dams, and compressed air. Safety instruction for employees. Three violations. Designated emergency person. Two violations. Atmospheric testing, oxygen testing. Two violations. Fresh air to underground work areas. One violation. Portal area guarding for safe access. One violation reported. Demolition. Engineering survey prior to demolition operations. 58 violations reported. Shoring and bracing of walls and floors. 10 violations. Control of utilities prior to demolition operations. 7 violations. Not dropping materials outside exterior walls. 6 violations. Testing for hazardous material prior to demolition operations, six violations reported. Blasting and the use of explosives. Controlling the throwing of fragments, one violation reported. Power transmission and distribution. Briefing prior to straining operations, two violations. Use of conductive handles per table V1, one violation. Employee insulation during approach, one violation. Guarding slash barriers erected to adjacent lines, one violation. Conductive ladders used near energized line, one violation reported. Ladders. Portable ladders, three feet above landing surface, 1,867 violations reported. Appropriate use, 482 violations. Using top step as a step, 269 violations. Use of defective portable ladders, 215 violations. Stairway or ladder provided for 19 inch break in elevation. 185 violations reported. Toxic and hazardous substances. Asbestos, exposure assessment by a competent person, 40 violations. Asbestos exposure monitoring, 26 violations. Asbestos training program, 25 violations. Asbestos employee provided protective clothing, 22 violations. Asbestos class one, two, and three work in regulated areas, 21 violations reported. Cranes and derricks in construction. Equipment inspection every 12 months. 30 violations. Operation procedures of equipment, 20 violations. Hooks, self-closing latches, 17 violations. Signed person qualification, 16 violations. Shift inspections by a competent person, 15 violations reported. This completes the list of most cited violations fiscal year 2013.